Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today, I wanted to give you guys a pretty cool example of Cookie the Cook. So, this is not something that is known by very many. And honestly, when I first learned about it, I didn't believe it. But since then, I've pulled off the Cookie Amalgadon um, a few times. And it is, it is how the game works. So, if you're not familiar, Cookie the Cook has a hero power with three charges, and on the third charge, you discover a minion of minions that you eat throughout. And uh, generally, it's a pretty decent hero power. It allows you to level fairly quickly. It allows you to zero in on a specific minion type, uh, if you can at least use most of them. So it's pretty good, like Nomi Elementals, Murloc build is pretty good. You just pick three random Elementals, three random Murlocs, and it's, it, you know, it's pretty good. Um, so pretty good hero. But there is a case, and this is a really important case now that they've kind of nerfed a lot of the end game. Like, uh, we used to have my ex now that used to take care of things. We don't have that anymore. Then we had friend of a friend to replace my ex now, and now we don't have that anymore. So the clear winner for end game builds is just Amalgadon. And Cookie the Cook, when Murlocs are banned, is actually one of the strongest heroes to obtain, well, Amalgadons. So how does that work? If you use one of the hero powers on the buddy itself, which is a Murloc, when Murlocs are not in the game that you're playing, if you are on Tavern 6, you will always be offered a Malgadon as one of the three options. I'm not really sure why it works this way. I do feel that um, when when I get like three different minion types and then I get to discover, I don't always get the three minion types represented. I don't know if this is like a bug or maybe this is how it's just supposed to work and I'm kind of not reading how it's supposed to work. But whatever the case is, I've done this build many times, and it works. If you want Amalgadons, and Murlocs are not in, Cookie's actually one of the best heroes in the game. That's right. Next month, you're going to be an official 10-year follower, Andy. Nice. I highly doubt that the people using Amazon Prime are giving more money to me than they give to Bezos. The thing is, you're right, but like I had Amazon Prime before Twitch Prime existed. So I was giving Bezos that money anyway. And then they made a feature where I could give him less. So, you know, it's still something. You didn't understand why Bezos gets so much hate? He's one of the largest employers in the world and pays pretty decently. Every new game brings a new um, n no comment. I have nothing to say about that. Um, um, okay. Excellent. Two, one. I wonder if going to three thing actually works. I think I might try it. Where's my yacht? <laughs> Fuck that. The reason people with yachts are kind of like, you know, a little, there's like a bit of like a yacht stigma. It's because not only do yachts cost apparently up to a billion dollars, we learned a billion, a million million. Okay. Sorry, a, a thousand million, a thousand million, a thousand millions for a yacht. That's how much they, 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 they can, they can cost. Some of them do cost that much. Uh, we can go for dragon. Get the divine shield one. Right. Right. That's not the divine shield one I was thinking of. Okay. Uh, so not only do they just cost an insane amount of money, they are the last thing that you buy. If, you, like... Right, so like, you know, first you need like uh, food on the table, a roof over your head, you know, maybe you help out some family, maybe you make a family, maybe like a spouse, maybe instead of renting shit, you buy shit, maybe you can buy a car, maybe you can like, you know, spend some money on like a vacation, maybe you can buy a house, wow, this day and age, a house, holy shit, right? 
And then like, um, I don't know, maybe you have a little bit of money for investments. How about that? Maybe you can like invest into like some of your own ideas and take on that level of risk and like start a company or a project or maybe try to make something of like a hobby. Right? You know, pretty, pretty uh, interesting stuff there. And then, like, uh, you know, maybe you buy, like, a big estate, have, like, a bunch of kids, support a bunch of, like, you know, family, so you can have, like, you know, wealth for more than just your generation. And, you know, then you're, like, giga, basically happy slash retired, don't have to really work that hard. And that's, like, where it ends for, like, all but, like, a hundred fucking people. Right? And, but, like, those, those, like, hundred people are, like, I want to make my own penis-shaped spaceship. It's like, okay. I want a yacht that's bigger than my friend's billion-dollar yacht. I'm like, okay, like, all right. Right? Like, this, the, this is what we're talking about here. So, yeah, people, people who have billion-dollar yachts, there is actually a little bit of a stigma. It's understandable. Right? <laughs> Majority of yacht owners just rent out their yachts to poorer rich people. Really? Nice. This game is not done very well. It's pretty good. No, because those those will not survive. I mean, I guess the I guess the pirate is technically bigger. Okay. Nah, I'm gonna do this still. Cause there's some chance, although pretty low, that neither of those will die. No, what has done well? The prepared boxes from HelloFresh tonight's sponsor. Thank you, shots. Thank you. You are right. Nice. I'm glad we dodged that point five. So, I actually have to use it on the demon. This is such a junk. I got this because now I can just target this. Even though that's really good. Uh, because I need a level, guys. <laughs> you keep saying how easy it is to get Bran and a board of, like, nine golden Amalgadons. You gotta work for it, guys. Just like Bezos gets up in the morning and, you know, bootstraps his way to earning, like, a few hundred million dollars every day. You gotta, you gotta earn it, man. You gotta work for it. Only, only a few. Says me. What? Oh my god, you 
guys are hating on me now? <sighs> guys. Guys. Listen. I'm vegan. That's basically immunity. Yep. In three, two, one. Damn. Yes, Bezos is not vegan. Wait, is he? I actually don't know that. Yeah, I think we're going to force a Malgadon from that. I'm pretty sure that's possible. Should I leave the stream 100% easy? Okay, bye. <laughs> is Jeff Bezos a vegetarian? There is no vegan in Jeff Bezos' household. Even though many climate change activists opt for vegan diets, Jeff Bezos does not follow this lifestyle. However, he does have some very odd eating habits which seem to be a trend among top CEOs among the world. What do successful people eat in the morning? Oh, Jesus, it's one of these. Please help me. Yes, guys, if you eat a banana but cut it sideways in the morning, you too will be a trillionaire. Did you know? Yeah, totally. The fate of the world hangs in the balance. Okay, that was a pretty good turn. Do you force some Algodons? If Murlocs are banned, you eat your sous chef. It may be small, but it can fight. Pick a new member for your team. Why don't you hire a new recruit? Another ambitious recruit. Bury the bone. Lost to the past. Pick a new member for your team. Okay. 
What if you're not on six? Doesn't work. Play chef and eat another in the store. No, it doesn't help. Because it takes two turns to do it. I'm going to do that next turn. I am going to make a golden Amalgadon because getting another Caligos or Nadina is a really big deal. Never retreat and never surrender. No max warmer locks on this one. So. It's actually kind of interesting now that I think about it. Also, no beasts. I don't think that's gonna work though. Recruit. It's not a lot of battle cries. And I still don't think it's worth freezing them. I'm a bit sleepy. I'm alright. Don't worry about me. <coughs> I'm amazed he almost lived. I don't know if that's possible. Wow, it is actually possible. Okay. Alright, well, we don't have to worry about him. Okay. If I can get a mech here... Oh, wait. That's insane. Heroes must make sacrifices. That's a battle cry, and I get an extra one of those. Another satisfied. Why don't you? Bow. Lost to the 
game changer. You did what had to be done. Uh, why don't you hire a new recruit? What was the point of that? So next turn, I can use the hero power twice and try again on an Amalgadon. I want uh, Poisonous on the Amalgadon. It's the only way to get Poisonous in this game, so... No rest for the weary, hero. Next turn? Yeah, it could be next turn. Or not. It's around 30, but I'm not sure. I mean, in a game with uh, no poisonous and I'm the only one playing dragons, if I take four Amalgadons out of the card pool, it's not a lot that beats it. Cookie's really good with Murloc's band. It's especially true now because Murlocs are some of the best uh, types for endgame anyway. 